right. This is your first one. Yeah, which one is that? Is it's that the, the Pfizer. BioNTech? No, the Pfizer. Pfizer. Yeah, okay, BioNTech one. That's this, fine. This is your first one? It's the first one, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't have problems with um, no jabs, allergies. No, 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 no. No allergies. I accept ibuprofen, sorry. Okay. I don't think it will be in the vaccine, no. <laughs> uh, fit and well? Yes. Not on any blood thinners? Not at all. No chance of pregnant? Not at all. Not been on any Covid trials? Not at all. You don't mind me taping this because no. I want to convince my fellow Africans to take the vaccine. There are all sorts of <laughs> conspiracy theories here. <laughs> okay. So if they see me having it, you know. <laughs> Oh, I'm such. Uh, uh, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> it helps if you don't pull your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, but I'm scared of needles. Okay. Is that vaccine? Yeah, it's the first yeah. one. <laughs> today, the 6th today, 6th of. Uh, that's today, 6th of January. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank you. This is the information and about the really vaccine. And this is to say I've had it, yeah? Yep. I'm Dr. Nangula Hopwood. I'm a GP uh, in the UK and I'm taking part in the vaccination program around the Salford uh, area where we are giving patients a vaccine. And this time today, this one is the COVID-19 vaccine AstraZeneca one today. That's the one we've got today. Before we've been given Pfizer one, but today is the AstraZeneca. People are turning up here for the vaccination because this coronavirus is very uh, taking a hold here again, and people are keen to take up the vaccine so that they don't feel they don't fall ill to protect themselves and the wider society. Huh? There's nothing wrong with these vaccinations. Research has found properly, you know, and it has a. Uh, uh, it's been accepted, you know, and the checks have been done by the relevant bodies that the vaccine is good and safe, and people are coming in their droves and they are having it. And I'm urging all Namibians to please do the same once this vaccine has reached Namibia. Take your job, protect your family, protect uh, everyone else around you, protect yourself from getting it, because this is the only defense we have against this disease. Huh? Okay, so I'm now going to give this one to the patient. It's very easy to administer and to draw up for Namibian health professionals, nothing to worry about there. And all we have to do now is to give that to the patient. Another one will be given in about three months time as per protocol here, because the government here wants to make sure everyone has had their first job test uh, before they are given the second one just so that everyone can have some kind of protection first before the next one. Even though the manufacturer is saying uh, it's the, the time, the, the interval should be shorter. And that's just because there aren't quite enough being produced as quickly at the, at the, at the time being. And it's better to be protected by, let's say, 70-90% first, uh, if, you know, for everyone to be protected that way instead of trying to protect everyone, one person, a hundred percent, and then the other person is not protected, and they have to wait for much longer. That's the only rationale behind it. So please, please take up the vaccine in Namibia. It's safe, and, uh, and it's, it will save lives. Thank you. <laughs>